Here we go again. I got to get this off. It's healthy. It really is. Um, it really is therapeutic. Okay. Man, when I was young, okay, everything was pretty innocent. Um, when I was young, I honestly didn't think the world was this retarded. Okay. I don't care if you don't like the word retarded. I have to use it because it's natural for me. <laughs> Go ahead and please don't censor this video. It'll just end up on bit shoot that doesn't censor it. Literally, we've had enough of this. I'm like, let me tell my story using whatever words I feel like it. It's called freedom of speech. You know what I'm saying. I'm not insulting people with special needs. I'm just using the word retarded as foolishness. Okay. Um, and um, I'm just like, maybe I'll make this quick. When I was young, I really didn't think the world was this retarded. I, I actually didn't think it would be this retarded or that it could be. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, now I know that God is capable of amazing things and literally things that blow my mind, including transforming stupid people into the most dreamy people you never imagined. So that's always the hope. You know, God is relentless redemption. Literally, he is. Like, he is infinite, and that is his specialty. So... God actually specializes in taking the absolute shittiest situation um, slash person or people and transforming them into the most angelic, okay? So take the Apostle Paul, for example. He was a total murderer, literally going around killing Christians. Instantly, he gets a vision of Jesus and gets totally turned around and becomes obviously a total saint and writes most of the New Testament, yada, yada. Well... What if God did that for over 7 billion people now at our period in history? Because that's actually what needs to happen. Like, you've never, like, I think we all agree, any enlightened person would agree, we've never seen more effed up, stupid, insane people on the earth today. <laughs> we've never seen more people on planet earth today that need a Saul to Paul conversion like, that is so dramatic and so powerful where they literally go from, like, total, just, like, you know, like, demon-esque, like, cluelessness and ugliness to, like, mind-blowing, like, blissful perfection and angelic father-like, god-like everything. It's about transformation. God is about taking humans from absolute crap and transforming them into absolute paradise, God-likeness. Like, and I mean God-likeness. I'm like, the person is walking down the street or wherever they are, they are like smoking hot, gorgeous, delicious, filled with God himself. Every move they make is perfect. Every word they speak is intelligent. There's divine wisdom, supernatural, everything about them. They are so attractive because they're just plain full of God. Like I'm talking like it has to be supernatural and it has to be so stinking attractive that people cannot believe that this is a real human in front of their face. That's exactly what happened to the people in the early church. The, the apostles working miracles everywhere they went. Tribes on islands thought they were gods and tried to sacrifice to them. That is exactly what I'm talking about. But for more than for the entire populace of the human planet, every human down here, I don't care if you're like an atheist, a Muslim, a Buddhist, you know, someone that kind of thinks maybe, you know, a COVID this, a COVID that. I don't care where you currently sit in your humanity, in your... Like, I just like, what if God actually transformed every breathing human on this person, on this planet, from now until Jesus comes back to be the most, like, spirit-filled, angelic, God-like creature that you never dreamed of seeing? Wow, would that not be a God level answer to prayer and a God level experience for us to all witness on earth? Yes. Should I expect anything less from God? No.
<clears throat> Anyways, <clears throat> I, I, I would think that the entire human race is tired of seeing people living crappy lives, their own included, okay? You've got to be real. You've got to be honest that every single dream and fantasy and imagination in your brain has to be multiplied by infinity and actually be real in your life because of God. Otherwise, he wouldn't be good enough, would he? Oh my goodness. Anyways, way too many depressing people on this planet. Way too many everything people on this planet that I could speak 10,000 negative words in that slot. But what if and when the almighty, all powerful, all capable, all gorgeous, all beautiful, all, all, all everything good God took every single piece of trash down here, namely all of us broken humans and said, okay, from your situation right there, I'm going to turn you into this crystalline, godlike palace of mind-blowing glory while you're on the earth, before Jesus comes back. And I'm going to do it for well over 7 billion humans. In fact, everyone on the planet. I'd be like, thank you. <sighs> Finally, a God story in my lifetime that is big enough for my prayers. <sighs> I would love nothing more than, in, than to run into every single human by the thousands every single day that is all screamingly attractive and mind-blowingly blissful because they are totally baptized in God himself wouldn't wouldn't you yeah is it possible yeah anyone else tired of retardedness down here yeah <laughs> oh my gosh. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. That means you should look and function like God. You shouldn't be a piece of trash which is what I see 99% of humans treating themselves and others like today. Whoa! Whoa, you're just like, okay, so I have to believe that this is now the greatest redemption story set up that God has ever ordained for himself. Okay, to redeem well over 7 billion people from absolute trash and pathetic condition to some kind of elated, exalted, mind-blowing condition that we all look around and know when it happens, oh yeah, this is mind-blowing and God did this. <sighs> 